morning ladies and gentlemen I'm Meaty69 welcome back to the channel now in today's video we are going to take a look at the new look uh, M60 yes finally the M60 is uh, or has received uh, a new camouflage now for, for so long wargaming uh, wargaming have only given this tank sort of this camouflage where if you've got it you couldn't even change it so now wargaming have added a new camouflage the rocketeer um the only thing disappointing with this camouflage at the moment is i don't know if it's a thing at the moment but i'm not getting a, a pop up pop up offer uh, or i'm not being offered at all this camouflage so it looks like unless it is wrong but uh, it looks like you can only get this camouflage if it's uh, if you buy the tank in the store um but I, I mean some people might have got the pop-up offer by now but i've been playing it and i'm still yet to receive that offer what do i think i mean it's different the, it, the camouflage is completely different to what we're used to and to be fair i really like the look of it i really do like the look of this tank better than the old one right it's got to be better than the old one which is not even there the camouflage isn't even there it is just the standard uh the standard camo for the tank now this is still a good camo i'm not gonna lie it is still a good camo um but yeah it just the fact that we, we wasn't able to change it and we have to rem uh, the keep this camouflage uh which is a shame so what is the tank like i mean played correctly this tank is still a really really good tank it's basically uh, an m40 uh, an m48 pattern uh but it is kind of the premium version it's not actually a premium tank it's called uh, an enriched tank one of the first of its kind in tier 10 um so yeah i mean this come around when there was really no premium tanks in the game uh and what's worse is the way that this tank entered the game which we will talk about we have spoke about it uh, many times on the channel but you know a lot of you are new um if you don't know how the m60 come about then you must be living under a rock but we'll get into game and we will talk about this uh, this tank. So the armor profile, uh, almost 200 millimeters on that turret. Now the turret is thick. It really is a good turret. You use that turret armor with a good amount of gun depression, you can bounce almost anything that comes your way. However, the whole uh, the hull armor is not so great and that is where your biggest weakness is on that hull not only that but you are a big tank you know you're a quite a high tank uh, you need to get into the use the right angles otherwise you will show a lot of your hull because it is a big tank and you've got a big turret as well so uh, but you have to utilize that turret armor um, you put it in the right position again you'll bounce almost anything so the dpm pretty decent dpm i'm not gonna lie at 3513 very good dpm for what it is six seconds reload penetration 255 <coughs> excuse me 255 uh on your ap 300 on your heat now currently you're gonna notice in the game i have especially i do mess up quite a bit um i'm not running calibrated shells but with 300 pen to be honest with heat as well you should be running calibrated shells on this tank i'm not going to lie because that will put your penetration up to 330 so i would definitely recommend running calibrated shells if i was running calibrated shells the battle i have um you probably would have i probably maybe would have got a bit more damage because there's certain uh angles that i was in that i couldn't do anything to the enemy because i just could not penetrate them even using heat uh, however if i was using the calibrated shells i might have had just enough pen uh to be able to penetrate them so yeah i would definitely recommend using the calibrated shells yes it does lower your dpm by a, a few hundred but it is really really worth doing um so you've got a 350 alpha gun on your ap 300 on your heat and 440 on your he aim time is very very good at 2.7 and the dispersion isn't so uh, isn't bad either at 0.317 and it has very very nice 10 degrees of gun depression with a top speed of 50 kilometers per hour so if you played the pattern then you would have played the m60 pretty much because there apart from 
such minor differences, there really, is, uh, there really isn't a lot in it, to be honest. So we're going to get into the game. Now, again, decent game, if I'm honest, but the, the enemy did make it quite easy for me. Um, of course, I don't have the new camouflage, unfortunately. I wish I did. Uh, the, even this is my press account, and I wanted to sort of play it a few times. I wanted to see if I can get maybe the camouflage for gold. Uh, but yeah, it just wasn't giving me that offer, uh, unfortunately. But I'm sure it will. Um, if I mean, that's selling the tank right now. It is in stores, uh, and you can only buy it for money. So at £30, you get the camouflage. You get a load of kit coins as well, and uh, you, get, you get the tank. So to be honest, £30 for this tank, the camouflage, the kit coins, and a few other things that you get isn't actually a bad price. Uh, but you've got to remember, yes, it is considered sort of as a premium tank, but it's a not. It's an enriched tank. So... Um, you don't earn as much credits as a premium tank normally would because technically, on paper, it's not actually a premium tank. It shows as a premium uh, in the yellow on the main screen, uh, but yeah, it's not actually a premium tank. So, those of you that don't know how this tank come about, I mean, most of you that you, you should know by now. So, back before this was released, there wasn't really any such thing as premium tanks. Like, there was uh, in tier 10, sorry, that Wargaming would never do it. Wargaming would never sell a premium tank in tier 10. It was always tier 8 and, uh, and below, really. Uh, even tier 9, they didn't really sell premium tanks in tier 9. But uh, one day, one sunny afternoon, we're just sitting here, you know, a few of us, we're just sitting here playing blitz, minding our own business, and then we get a notification in game in our game, you know, um, that you've just been given an M60. And we were like, what the hell is this? We go onto it, and it was a tier 10 medium. Like, we all thought, oh my god, it's a premium tank. Just been, just been put on my account. What the actual heck? Um, so yeah, the rumours started going around uh, that people were getting this tank for free. It was just coming onto people's account. No one knew why they got it. No one knew if it was them that got it. So everyone, of course, would log into the game to see if they were the lucky, uh, the lucky people, one of the lucky peoples, uh, to um, receive this tank. And luckily, I was. Now, at the time, I used to play a lot of Blitz with one of my work colleagues. Like, he got me into the game, and we used to play a lot. So we was actually at work at this time, and he said, that, yeah, I've just heard about this uh, new M60. Have you got it? I'm like, what? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, so I logged into the game. I'm like, hey, look, I've got a notification. Yeah, I did get it. How about you? No, I didn't. Like, why? I don't know. Why did you get it? I don't know. Why didn't you get it? I don't know. <laughs> so uh, no one knew why. Now, of course, there is rumors going around. Uh, that it was based on how much you spent in the game. Um, if you crossed a certain threshold, then you was eligible to get this tank for free. However, I don't quite believe that because I've known people, especially my workmate as well, um, to be able to, to, to spend a lot of money on the game. Uh, he was spending quite a bit of money on the game, but uh, yeah, he didn't get the tank. And I've also known people that didn't really spend any money on the game, and they got the tank. So it couldn't be uh, just for how much you've spent in the game. It could be. I mean, it could be a threshold which my workmate didn't pass, um, but then that don't explain the people that don't spend the money on the game that received the tank um, but wargaming have always said there was a criteria uh, but they're never going to share what that criteria was how they managed to figure out who gets this tank and who doesn't i don't understand it i can't see why wargaming would hide something like that um, I mean, if it is to spend money on the game and you get a free tank at the end of it, um, you know, people might want to spend a bit of money in the future because you never know, they might do it again. Uh, but again, what I'm also disappointed at is Wargaming really, I know they give away free tanks quite a lot. Uh, that quite often, like we've been through it before, Droodles has been through it on his channel, going through all the tanks that have actually been for free. And there's an awful lot. There really is quite a few tanks that have been given for free. But I'd like something like this again. You know, we haven't seen it. I mean, the, the M60 was basically the first premium tank in tier 10. Uh, but yet, years and years later, I mean, we're looking at sort of seven, eight years, maybe seven years uh, minimum uh, since they've done this. 
but they've never done it since. You know, it'd be nice if they did this more often, just randomly put a tank on someone's account because they, they met a certain criteria. Uh, but it'd be also it'd, also, it'd also be good to know what that criteria was. Uh, but Wargaming are not going to do it because if it was to spend money on the game, of course, there will be complaints that people will be like, hey, but I spent this on the game. I didn't receive the tank. Um, and like my work colleague, he spent a lot of money on the game. Um, and ever since he didn't get this tank, he was like, okay, fuck it. I, I'm not going to buy, I'm not going to spend no money. And ever since that day, he stopped spending money in the game because he felt he deserved it. He didn't. Uh, and he thought, you know what, I'm not going to put more money into the game. If I don't get treated fairly uh, like everybody else, then no, why should I? Which, okay, that, that's he's down to him if he wants to do that. Uh, so yeah, to some extent, it would be nice to know how we got the tank. And other extent, it would be nice to know um, are they going to do this kind of thing again? Are they going to give away tanks on random accounts because they meet a certain criteria? Would you guys like that? Would you guys like that? If you met a certain criteria, maybe battles played in tier 10 in total, or maybe mastery badges, the amount of mastery badges earned, um, and then you get, you know, anything. Let me know what you think that a criteria could be to receive another free tank in tier 10 like the M60. Let me know in the comments below. Were you one of the lucky ones to get this for free? Let me know again in the comments below. But hopefully Wargaming do release the camouflage so it does become a pop-up offer because I think if it is cheap enough, eventually... I will, uh, I will probably purchase the camouflage because I do, I do think it looks great. And when you're used to just having one camouflage on, on one tank for the last sort of seven, eight years, something different does make all the difference. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. I'm Meaty69, and I will catch you all soon. Bye bye.